Yesterday morning, Dana had reported a truly remarkable quarter. But because the broader stock market rolled over and ended up closing down nearly, the stock closed down nearly 1%. Then today, it tumbled another 5%. Not because there was anything wrong. The quarter was fantastic. Just the market turned really ugly. So I told Doug in Ohio that Dan Eric could go higher thanks to its tremendous 12% organic growth rate. That is probably about the best growth rate I have seen in this quarter. And that's why we bought some more for the Travel Trust yesterday. But I feel like I didn't do it justice. So I just wanted to circle back, go into more depth, because Dan is a tremendous business and Doug deserves better. I think that actually this one's suited for this moment. You need to understand, there are very few companies that experts regularly compare to Berkshire Hathaway. And Dan and Hurt is one of them. It used to be a more diversified manufacturer, but in recent years, it spun off all sorts of ancillary businesses that were slow and, or cyclical in order to focus on something that is secular, and that's called life science and medical technology. These days, Dan Hurt makes various types of complicated, big-ticket medical machinery, as well as consumables, both for drug research and diagnostics. They are the envy of the industry. Over the past five years, it's been a huge outperformer, rallying more than 220%, S&P up only 80% during the same period. However, Danner's stock peaked last fall. It started rolling over in the new year, along with its life science peers that I talk about a lot, including uh, Perkin Elmer and Thermo Fisher, TMO, which you know I like very much. Now, some of that's punishment for the fact that Danner wasn't exactly cheap. At the end of last year, Danner traded 32 times earnings, and we know Wall Street has become far less hospitable towards stocks with relatively high price to earnings multiples. But mostly, I think Danner's pulled back because it's seen as a COVID beneficiary. They did get a big revenue boost from the COVID testing business, plus, they were selling lots of equipment and consumables to companies that were developing various vaccines and treatments. Don't miss a second of Mad Money. Follow at Jim Kramer on Twitter. Have a question? Tweet Kramer. Hashtag Mad Tweets. Send Jim an email to madmoney at CNBC.com or give us a call at 1 800 743 CNBC. Miss something? Head to madmoney.cnbc.com.